joining me. I'm here at Brains Brewery. Uh, I've been very kindly invited by Sam and Martin to have a tour of the brewery. Um, and as you can see, the brewery's behind me here. It's massive. Um, it's a massive brewery. I'm really excited about this. Hopefully we'll be getting to try some beers later as well. Uh, as you can see, there's massive, great big tanks up there. That's where they keep the stored beers in there. That's, uh, it's amazing. So, um, yeah, so catch me in a minute when, I, uh, when I'm on the tour. Cheers. Hi there, Elvis from Swiss Green Ale Reviews here. Um, just here at Brains Brewery. Uh, we're here next to one of the mash tuns that they use for the uh, craft brewery. Very excited to be here. It actually, Simon comes over and, uh, sorry, Simon uh, Green Ale Guide's filming me for me very kindly today. You can see the mash in there, absolutely fantastic. Very excited by this. Um, yeah, so we're, having, oh. so we're having a little brewery tour today. Um, and we're just doing this is one of the rooms. Can you see this better here? Absolutely enormous. I think Bill said, uh, how many gallons does this one hold then? Uh, and there's the fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Go on in. Nice alarm there just to keep you awake. Uh, yeah, sorry, we're on to the, uh, this, uh, this, is a, this is a mash done, isn't it? Yeah, this is our biggest mash done that'll hold um, seven and a half tons of grain. So we can produce, depending on the gravity of the beer, and two barrels about a single brew there compared to 10 to 15 barrels about a small one. Fantastic. So, uh, so what beer is this brewing in here at the moment? Um, this is um, this is all at sea IPA. All at sea IPA, fantastic. I have had it. It's a very good beer. Uh, so we're brewing it again. We've got a little competition going on with the likes of Simon and all the guests for you to brew us um, in December. So, uh, so this, this is the brain thing. Be the best man all the <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks very much for the fire. No worries. Just here, giving you a view out of the window of uh, lovely steaming uh, copper there at Brains Brewery. There's all those kegs out and casks out in the yard there. And I believe that's the River Taff behind there, is it? That's right, yep. River Taff. Fantastic. So there we go. So this is our cask uh, filling line. Um, casks are coming in from the yard. They're being um, what's called deep dived and clean stones and then emptied out of any residual beer that's in them. They get cleaned through the washer, which is the other side of the stream. And you can see the hot cask coming out, um, being big keystone and label ready to come round onto the carousel and they'll be picked up and put onto one of eight filling heads. So um, we have packaged up to 1,600 firkins on this line in an eight hour shift. Manual job. Mm. Right. Fantastic. Hello, welcome to another Somerset Real Ale review. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'm here today with Simon from Real Ale Guy. Hello. Uh, we're here in Brains uh, Pub mm -hmm. on the actual site of the brewery, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, we're reviewing today uh, Brains First uh, Pills from the Hills. It's their first uh, Pilsner style lager. Um, as you can see, you can get the look of the beer there. It's a lovely sort of straw coloured. Do you get that light there? See the light at the top? Lovely sort of straw coloured, fantastic. Slight bit of carbonation. Oh, there's no, no carbonation in there, as we can see. No head on the beer, but um, let's get a nose in, shall we, Simon? Yeah, let's get a nose. Oh, it's nice. Really nice. Really nice. Getting a lovely sort of floral, I find, aroma. Fresh cut flowers, would you say? Yeah, something yeah. like that, yeah. Beautiful. And uh, you get that sort of bananary. Bananary, bananary. esters. Mm. 
I'm I mean, trying to nest, isn't yeah. it? Just be, I think getting, I know getting, what I'm getting, te- getting technical now, <laughs> Simon, aren't you? <laughs> um, that's coming from the that's coming from the hops and the the yeast, the yeah. yeah. brains of used yeah. in, in, in the in the brew. Um, it's five percent ABV. Yeah. Yeah. It's from the the craft brewery yeah. of brains. I like the colour. I like the clarity. It's very yeah. clear. The straw coloured beer. It looks like. Um, a very nice lager. It does. It does. Yeah. Nice you, lager. Yeah. Yeah. If you line that up with a, with some you know traditional Czech lagers and German yeah. lagers, it, it, it would sit perfectly along those. Yeah. I see myself at a, a a beer festival on a hot day with, with like a band oh. playing in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with, with a glass of this. Yeah. Yeah. Looks great. Looks great. Fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. That's really nice. Um, aside from the taste notes, the first thing I notice about this beer is it's not in a big enough glass. <laughs> you need more of it. <laughs> it is a really, really sessionable beer. This is so refreshing. It's put, like Simon said, it's perfect for a hot day. Um, you're getting a lovely sort of, sort of, yeah, sort of slight, slight Quaffable. sweet. It's, like, yeah, it's, it's one of them yeah. kind of beers which you take a mouthful yeah. and half the beer's gone in the yeah, glass. Yeah. It's not a supper, you just really want to really get yeah, yeah. into it. Really with, with the flavours, with the yeah. flavours. Cause I think the flavours are definitely there, they're, they're hoppy, they're, there's nice yeast mm. essence coming through, it's malty, yeah. but still you just want to dive in. It's, it's yeah, I mean look at it, you just look at that, it just looks refreshing, doesn't it? I think we're going to finish this on this review, aren't we? So, yeah. There's going to be nothing left in these yeah, glasses. Should we, should we, um, yeah, go on, let's finish up. Mm. It, t- it, it, it tastes golden, doesn't it? Like it tastes like, like it's full of sunshine, you know. You could, it just makes you imagine a hot day. A hot day. Yeah. Music playing. Yeah. I mean, it's coming in the middle of November at the moment. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of still. Yeah. It's November, but it's making you feel like mm. you want to yeah. drink it. You want to get it done. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I think rating wise, what are you going to give it, Simon? I'm going to give this a nine out of ten. I think it's it's mm. refreshing. It's quaffable. You could you could easily drink five or six of these, maybe but I should say four or five. Um, it's five percent, so you better be careful. Yeah. It's full of flavour. Um, there's nice aromas coming from the beer, um, and it's it's it, there's a lot of breweries coming up bringing out kind of pill style beers, and this is easily one of the best. Yeah. I'd say one of the best that I've tried. Yeah. And I have to say, this is Brain's first attempt. Yeah, at it's first, their you know, first pill first style pills, beer, which is, their, which is which is amazing. So if this is their first, then, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm very impressed. Uh, I'm going to join you, Simon, with a 9 out, nine out of 10. Um, I think this is a great beer. Um, I think everyone should go out and try this. Um, yeah, fantastic. Thanks very much for watching, and hope you join me again soon for another review. Cheers. <laughs>